ओके इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस सो वील सी हाउ स्टूडेंट्स कैन अपलोड द एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट सो आई वांट टू एक्सप्लेन दिस पॉइंट एज अ मैनेज पेपर व्हेन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस मैनेज पेपर सो हियर ऑलरेडी आई हैव क्रिएटेड सम असाइनमेंट्स दैट्स व्हाई दिस सेटिंग इज देयर इफ यू वांट टू सो ऐड सम पीपल एज अ को इंस्ट्रक्टर सो ऑटोमेटिकली आवर एलएमएस और गूगल असाइनमेंट फेच द रोल्स फ्रॉम आवर एलएमएस uh automatically when students are getting added so all these details so students will be get automatically added if there is a teacher another teacher in your course and if they want to grade the assignment and you want to allow them as a co instructor in your course so they need to give the request they will send the request and again you know how to uh, what you can say permit them as a co instructor so this setting is there so you can add the number of co instructors and if that particular instructor want to leave they can do by clicking here and others uh, students automatically students role will be automatically assigned to the participants who are already uh, students in your course and uh, if this uh, is not available here don't worry when students will submit the assignments that time automatically this details will get added in the assignment so this is about the uh, people uh now i will uh, what you can say log out from here and i will uh, log in through my student login and i'll show you how student can submit the assignment okay so i belongs to that batch so it's a student to to avoid any confusion so here you can see experiment so this student so i when i will click on experiment number 4 so now i have to log in through my student login right so here i have to switch my account because i am using in the same browser but student will not get this message right so student i you i am using so sdc mail for this uh, demo purpose so when i log in as a student so i am getting this window so you can see here my teach when you give the template to the students so automatically google will create all such assignment templates for particular uh, uh, for the students by and it will automatically save by their name so when i click on this so google docs will be uh, there means uh, this is a google template or what you can say this is a doc template so automatically the document will get open so where students can make their changes and they can upload that document or if they can what you can say download from here and they can add separate files also or they can create another doc or sheet or any slide here and they can submit here so the here we have a okay so this is an experiment i uh, template i have given so students will fill this template so for a demo i'll just uh, write something here this is what you can say this is this is template right so for demo purpose i am using this okay no problem here students can rename their template also by their uh, what you can say their uh, template name and i'll remove this and uh, automatically this template uh, will get be renamed after this and when students submit that template will automatically be submitted whatever the experiment is there right and if they want to remove and they want to add something they can Uh, uh able to upload another files also and when student will submit this so you can see here they want to submit this file so this assignment will get submitted now you can see that i i already changed the name of that uh, assignment so it automatically gives me this and students want to unsubmit again they have this option and if they already submitted so automatically this message will be there for them and all the deadline and all the marks and all the details will be shown to the students and you want to unsubmit this option is given for the students so we we'll close this to one student have submitted now i will show you how teacher can grade that right so again i will log in by teacher login so here i have my teacher login so i'll show you how teacher can grade that assignment so here we have experiment i will click on it so see so this window will be uh, here so experiment number 4 when you click on student name 
so all the experiments uh, what you can say the experiment submitted by the students will be shown to you so you can say this is a template this was the submitted by the student and all the details will be shown to you you can download it you can print it and uh, this is what the comments you can know uh, what you can uh, comment on that experiment so these are all the details as uh, same as your uh, google assign uh, google classroom assignment and you want to see, select next student here I, I have only one student have selected uh, submitted that assignment so when you click on the next next student will be get uh, shown to you and all the student details will be shown to you here so uh, LMS and uh, what you can say Google assignment will manage through their email ID so LMS will give the email ID of that students and uh, here also it will manage by the email IDs and so all the students email ID will be matched in both systems so in this way you can manage all the students here we have a grade system so when you grade and you want to give some feedback and all the details uh, what you can say feedback and all will be stored in the Google assignment when you click on return likewise you can save and once also you can uh, what you can say return multiple submissions also or return individuals so, so when I click on return so that marks will be returned to the student same like your google classroom so if you want to uh, afterwards you want to uh, return that uh, facility is there so you can multiple uh, return also and this is all about grading uh, of all students you can in this way you can also grade the students uh, you want to add some rubrics uh, before uh, grading you want to add some rubrics so here you can create your new rubrics or you can use already created rubrics or you can import that shit so I will give to you uh, so you uh, people explore this option be creating rubrics and be using the rubrics if you want so all the students credit all will shown to you here so this is the way to use the google assignment uh, in your lms course how students uh, i already shown you how students can upload the experiments uh, through this google assignment and how you can grade that so this is all about the google assignment and you want to see the marks of that students uh, automatically that that marks will be fetched in the lms grade book so you can see here I will show you this is student user so I have already given the expert number 423 marks and automatically this marks will be fetched in the LMS so in this way you can use what uh, Google assignment in our course and students can upload their uh, experiments and you can also grade them and all feedback so this is the way so thanks for watching this video you can explore this in your course also so